Bayuan. I am Mary Hart Villiers. And I'm Kira Ian Yamouchi. From BS Bio 1B. And for, for today's, today's video, video, we're, we're going, going to do a toe dissection. dissection. But first, before we begin, we need to make sure that we are wearing our personal protective equipment, our hand gloves, our face masks, and our goggles. So here are the materials that we're gonna be using for our dissection. We have here our bio bag, our dissecting pan, our magnifying glass, our number four scalpel handle, our flapper, our dissecting scissor, our scalpel handle, uh, which is the number three. This is our backup scalpel, our probe, our forceps, the pins, and finally the toad. In order to make the toad unconscious and dizzy, we poured alcohol. Meanwhile, there were hilarious moments as we continued to pour the alcohol. And we are going to show the hilarious moments and the last part of our video. Before dissecting the toad, I am going to draw the incision guides on her skin. Now using the forceps, I am lifting her skin on the bottom part of her body in order to make it easier to cut through. After Mir cuts the skin, we can see the muscles of the toad that has pinned the toad's front feet and the back feet so that we would not be having difficulties in cutting the muscles. Then I am continuing to cut the muscles. And finally, the toad's internal organs are exposed and ready to be examined. So for now, we will be exploring and trying to identify the organs. Here we can see the ovaries. Ovaries in amphibians produce a huge number of ova, while those in mammals release only a single ovium or egg. This is the female reproductive system of frogs. It's where eggs are produced. This is a heart of a toad. Compared to humans, we have a four-chambered heart, while frogs have three-chambered hearts. Ours have two atria and two ventricles, and frogs have two atria and one ventricle. This is where blood gets pumped in and out of the body. Both oxygenated and deoxygenated blood are circulated every second. This large bean-shaped sac is the stomach. Compared to humans, there's not much difference between the two. And for the function, this is where digestion starts. These are the fat bodies of a toad. This is the largest body lipid deposit that is also interconnected with the gonad. Here we can see the ovida. This carries the eggs from the ovaries up to the cloaca. Here is the gallbladder. This is where the bile that comes from the liver is stored. This is the small intestine of the toad. This is where the final stage of digestion occurs and this is where nutrients are absorbed. What we have here is the spleen. This is where blood is produced, stored, and destroyed. And this is the liver. There are three lobes in the liver of a toad that produce bile, remove toxins from the blood, and store sugar. But in human liver, there are four lobes. This is the kidney. The kidney of the toad is not being shaped and like the kidney of a human. The function of this is to remove nitrogenous waste or urine from the blood. And the lungs. The lungs of toad are very small compared to the lungs of human. It is because our lungs take up almost half of our abdomen. And the lungs brings oxygen from the air to the blood and removes carbon dioxide from the blood. And this is the large intestine. The large intestine holds waste and absorbs water. And this is the peritoneum. The peritoneum is a spider web membrane that covers many of the organs. It helps in protection and it prevents the body parts from getting damaged. And we cut the stomach of the toad in order to look what was the last food that it ate. Then we saw mosquitoes, rice, and ants. Let's proceed now to the buccal cavity of the toad, the maxillary teeth. This is used for holding prey as well and is located around the edge of the mouth. Here are its vomerine teeth. This is used for holding prey and it's located at the roof of the mouth. Internal nares. These are connected to the lungs and they are the main breathing pathway of toads. Here is the Eusachian tube. This equalizes pressure in the inner ear. Here in the deeper part of its buccal cavity, we can see the esophagus. This is where food that toads and frogs swallow go into. This wiggly part right here is obviously the tongue. It is attached to the front and aids in grabbing prey for the toad or the frog. This is the pharynx. Foods that are swallowed goes through here before the esophagus. This is the glottis. This is the tube that leads to the lungs. Oh, yeah. Ito, ito. Hindi yan takakatakas! <laughs> 